Happy Easter, everybody. Oh, I'm already worn out. <laughs> uh, getting things packed up. We are going to be leaving here today. I have to take a couple of breaths, man. I tell you, I'll be glad to get my medicine, which I'm going to get it today. Oh, my sister sent me some money so I can get my medicine and get out of here. So it, right now it's yeah, right around 8.30, maybe a little after, depending on which clock you look at. So, what I'm going to do, well, actually, which I've already done, I've already got a hotel reservation, and it was like the place that I stayed at before, it was going to cost me about 90 bucks, now they're at uh, Day's End down there in Lake Havasu City. And so it's like, you know what? No, I'm not going to pay that. So I was actually able to get um, a hotel in Laughlin, Nevada for 22 bucks. <laughs> actually, I already booked two nights because... I just, I need to rest up. And on on the way up there, there's a Walmart in Bullhead City, which is about roughly six, it's like 5.7 miles from the hotel. And um, so I already called them last night. They're going to have my meds ready. I'm going to stop by and get them sometime this afternoon. Which, you know, so I'm going to be going through some different areas that I haven't seen. You know, I really don't want to run all the way down to Parker. Plus, to Parker, it's like, I think it's either tomorrow or the day after, it's like 90 degrees. No, thank you. It's only supposed to be like 63 here today. So, as you can see, I got my hoodie and my and my leather leather jacket on because it's you know, yeah, I mean, it's not uncomfortably cold, but it's it's a little coolish. So anyway, what I'm going to do is on the way up, I'm going to stop at Walmart and pick up my meds and grab a few other things that I need. Like I'm out of I'm out of ramen, and probably need to pick up a little bit more dog food too. And uh, so get that there at the Walmart there in Bullhead City. And the traffic won't be as bad. I just I don't know. I debated going back down to Lake Havasu and staying, but it's you know, it's like you know what. You know, I, basically, I booked two nights hotel right on the river for fifty-two bucks for two nights, <laughs> which is less. I not quite half what would it, it would have cost me to book one night there in Lake Havasu, but pretty close to, to half the price. So, anyway, I'm just I'm trying to get things done. I'm trying to take it easy so I don't overdo it. I'm having to sit down a lot, but you know, I got everything all kind of situated. I got to, I got to get the organizer unloaded and put that stuff in a bag. And I'm hoping to get out of here by about one or two. You know, I can't check into the hotel until four. So 
I figured, you know, by the time I go up there, and, and plus it'll be interesting going through some of these other places in Bullhead City, you know, uh, which is, seems like a pretty cool place. I haven't never been there, but it's not nearly as big as Lake Havasu, that's for sure. Not even close. But, uh, like I say, the, the hotel is only about six miles from Walmart. And I tell you, one thing I'm going to do after we leave here is I am going to stop by somewhere and get me a hamburger. <laughs> Just a simple little hamburger. There's also a Culver's there in Bullhead City. Um, well, there's McDonald's and Needles, but nah. unless I get totally desperate, but uh, <laughs> I'd have to get pretty desperate. Just not, just not gonna be a McDonald's person at all. But. Oh man, I didn't sleep well at all last night. It it poured and poured and poured and poured, which I thought would put me to sleep. But I don't think that was a factor at all. I don't think the, the rain normally would put me to sleep, but I'm just so fired up about being able to get out of here and you know get go get me some actual food, <laughs> not just have to eat something out of a can, you know, for which I've been doing like the last two weeks. So, oh man, my hand hurts. Hey, I think it's another thing I need to do too is get me a wrist brace because my this, my wrist, my left wrist just kills me. So anyway, um, <laughs> I even had my coffee. But uh, I just like I didn't I hope I sleep really well tonight and you know, having my meds that should help quite a bit because it's like every night I've been fighting, just my legs kicking all over the place and Oh and today I've got heartburn for some reason. Oh bad. I do have some Alka Seltzer. I might have to have me some of that. I haven't had to use it since I've been gone, but I've got really, really, really bad heartburn. And so I think I'm going to have to have some. I'm glad I got it with me. Yeah, I know where it is. I don't have to look for it. So anyway, um, I'll try to take some footage when we go up to Bullhead City. I don't remember if we go through Fort Mojave. Um, I think I do on the way up there. Go through Fort Mojave, Mojave Valley. I'm not sure there's going to be all that much to see there, but uh, anyway, that's what our plan is. I'll be glad to get this stuff loaded up and get out of here. So, I already got the cot folded up. I got my sleeping pad folded up. I got the table already put away in the bag, which the wind blew it, flipped it completely over last night. Holy moly, that wind was something else. Yeah, but once it started raining really hard, the wind kind of stopped. And today it's just a little breeze. I hope, I really hope it stays like that. I hope the wind doesn't kick up at all because that would make my job so much easier if the wind doesn't mess with me. So anyway, oh, ah, man, my legs are already kicking. Anyway, so we shall talk to you later once we get out of here and, you know, it doesn't appear to be too muddy either, which is good. Of course, you got a lot of rocks, so, yeah, you're not going to be, it's not going to be pure mud anyway. But I wasn't sure what to expect after it poured all freaking night, all night. Just poured. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Well, I am at Walmart in Bullhead City, Arizona. I really like it here. I like this a lot better than Lake Havasu, to be honest with you. Well, we are here at the... 
the pioneer. So you come in here. I wanted to get some footage. I'll get and I'll get it in the next couple of days for you guys. But I wanted to get some footage. But uh, Mark called me. I've been on the phone with him for like the last hour, and so wasn't able to film. But it, as you come in here, it's almost like a. It's almost like it's like a little miniature Reno. It's, it, it, seriously, it's like, I, it'd be interesting seeing this at night. I'm going to go for a walk later with Copper. We're going to go walkie. Go up here and... Uh, you know, see what the lights look like and stuff. Because I, I bet you it looks pretty cool. But, whew, man, it is hard finding a parking place. I'm telling you, man. Really hard to find a parking place. You got a lot of people come here during the day to gamble and stuff, you know. So we're just here to sleep. I ain't here to gamble. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is we've got a restaurant on site here. I'll probably just. I don't know. Get something there. Or, uh, I did pick up a couple of things when I was at Walmart to eat. I may just stick with that, but I still need, still need something else, like some crackers or something. But, but, uh, my legs were dead by the time I went to the seafood department and got some stuff and, So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Copper for a little walk. And because uh, it's still here, check-in time isn't till 4 and it's just now 3.30. So I don't really want to be driving around anywhere else. I'm just, I'm just going to kick back. And then tomorrow... Maybe go do some driving around, <laughs> take some footage, and then maybe tomorrow night, oh man, take some footage at night time. But yeah, it's this is, you know, boy, it's pretty out there by the river. Oh my word, it's pretty by the river. So anyway, I am going to go take Copper for a walk and then... And then go check in, get a room and all that good stuff. So we'll talk to you later. Hey buddies, what you doing? What you doing, huh? Huh? Well, you can tell you're used to being around people, huh? Yeah. I can tell you're used to being around people, aren't you? Yeah, I don't have anything for you, Lou. All right. This is where we are staying the next couple of nights. Get an airport right over there. And probably I can see the planes landing. This is the famous Colorado River. <laughs> Fallen trees everywhere. I don't know what those birds are, but they almost sound like a sheep. <laughs> They're calling for Jacob. Daddy. Daddy. Then that's the Colorado Bell. That's a kind of like they have there in Tacoma. It's got a restaurant in it and stuff. I don't know how much it costs. I'm probably not going to try it. Got a little gazebo here. I wish it had a little chair or something in it. I guess I could always bring mine, but yeah, 
ass. You know, this is my style here, water. <laughs> I love being by the water. I guess this looks like it's like a little gazebo where people take wedding pictures or whatever. There ain't nobody out here. Gates open until 7, so. Oh, I guess I gotta use my card to get down there. Go down and sit in one of those gazebo things. Oops. Let me drop. Man, that gate's heavy. Ugh. Trying to get my card back in the deal without losing it. Sorry for the camera work, but man, this thing's heavy. There we go. Huh. As soon as I get it back in my pocket, so I don't lose it. All righty. Mm. Water taxi, huh? I don't know where it, where it takes people, but. I'm taking little steps because my knees hurt. I would say this is definitely worth $22 a night. Of course, they charge cheap prices so people go in there and gamble, but they're losing money on me because I won't. I'm gonna play slots, I won't do anything. I have to say, if I can get down on this and get back out of it, oh, that is the ferry, then I got jet ski rentals down here, which if I had the money, I'd do it. Although it would need to be a little warmer for me to go out on the water, because I ain't got no damn wetsuit. Ah, this would be fun just to come down and, you know, tomorrow I'll maybe bring copper down here and just kick back underneath the shade. Ooh. I haven't got my hoodie on. The wind's a little chilly. I'm not going to be out here too long. <laughs> Isn't this cool, though? I tried to get out here a little sooner when it was a little bit lighter, but... I had to carry a bunch of stuff in the room from the vehicle and oh man. Oh. Now I'm gonna have to get out of this chair. It's one of those chaise lounges type things, you know, like those. 
Same thing. I guess he's the reserve for the jet, the rentals. He's like, whatever. Ain't nobody else here. Kick me out. Let's see some shells here. Be nice to find, come out here and dig some clams. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Steam some clams. That'd be. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Just like on the buses in the big cities. They gotta have those advertisements. Oh, that's cool. You see that those husks that are on that tree, you see them kind of falling off at different places, laying around. They almost look like coconut husks, but they're not. That'd be nice to be able to find one with coconuts on it. Some coconut palms. Although I'm sure I'm sure that they probably if they do oops. If they do grow coconuts, they probably keep them cleared so people don't get bonked. Because <laughs> if you get a coconut falling from a decent distance, you'd kill somebody easily. Oh, wow. Oh. Nice pet area here. This was Shopper came to eat when we first got here. These lights lighting the walkway along here. It's a little bit cool. He's taking a walk tonight, I think. I didn't even really notice. They got a little bench here where you can sit here. And... Ugh. No barbecues on the beach. Well, what fun is that? You should be able to barbecue. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to set on fire down there? The water? Yeah, what you doing, dude? -do? Huh? Huh? He says, I want some water and some food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was a turd today. He did not want to go. He did not want to leave. I didn't think he wanted it. Yeah, I want some little Dodgers and Cardinals. Not really a baseball fan that much, but... but anyway, this is the room. It doesn't have a fridge or a coffee maker. That pisses me off. Oh, well. You got, uh... Almond and olive soap. And that's actually one of the really thick ones. It's not one of those cheapy Motel 6. Uh, energizing shower gel. Uh, softening conditioner. Yeah, I got so much hair to soften. Revitalizing shampoo. Not just regular shampoo, but revitalizing. Moisturizing lotion. Almond. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? All right. And then, got a shower, of course. 
Well, they have more towels than that because I'm going to be wanting to take more than one. Oh, they got some up there. Okay, no problem. Nope. Oops. God, I'm going to fall down. Yeah. I'm probably going to take a shower tonight because I could really use one. Anyway. I like these, too. I like these rubber, rubber, rubber main instead of just a towel that's down there. I like these. Keep you from slipping in the tub. Oh. Anyway, oh yeah, this is the bed. The bed is very comfortable. It's king size. Uh, king size bed. Oh. Little table. Which I'll probably... Yeah. No, there's a desk. That's what I'll set the computer up on. Although I don't see a plug-in. So I may end up using a table if there's not a plug-in under here. I would think there would be. Ooh, I like that chair. Yep. Oh, uh, oh, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell. But, you know, you can't... For 22 bucks a night, shoot. <laughs> and I guess they have a breakfast buffet, although I'm not sure where that is, but... Anyway, um, I need to take care of Copper, get him fed, because I haven't fed him yet. It's almost 5.30, so he's well overdue. So, feed him, get him watered, and then I'm going to feed me. And I got some stuff at Walmart, if I can reach it. Well, I guess I can slide the chair. And some of you may get grossed out, but I love me some raw oysters. Pacific oyster. And then I've got, it's a poke bowl. It's a rice dish, Hawaiian rush dish, smoked salmon. Pretty cheap. And then... I got me some pumpkin pie. Yeah, so that's that's dinner. Some poke bowl, some oysters, and some. Oh shit! I had the camera backward. What a moron! All right, pumpkin pie, poke rice bowl. And <clears throat> you know oysters, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now, what I have to do is go back out to the vehicle and find my damn silverware. I guess I could eat it without, you know, just. But no, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather have a fork or something, spoon, fork, something to eat it with, not just. You know, it didn't make any difference. Especially the rice stuff. It's kind of hard to eat that without a, without a fork or a spoon or something. So anyway, that's it for this evening. I am really tired. I should sleep wonderfully tonight. And I have my medicine. So that's going to help immensely. I stopped, you know, like I said, I stopped there at <sighs> Bullhead City. Got my meds. So now I'm going to go grab the other stuff and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I may take some footage tonight and, and uh, it's a little nippy. I don't think I'm going to be going outside. I think I'm just going to stay in here where it's cozy. And maybe tomorrow night I'll take some footage of the... I'll actually drive around and take some footage. You know, the lights and stuff, you know.
But I haven't seen much so far, but I'm sure as you go down the street, there's some big, 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 big casinos and resorts and stuff. So there was one I would really like to stay at, the Edgewater. Oh, that thing is just massively beautiful. But, and it was about the same price as, as this, but it's just they don't accept pets, so... Well, you better appreciate that, Copper. <laughs> hey. Hey. That you about ready to eat? You want to get some more? Hmm? All right. That's going to be it for me for tonight, I think. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Camping with Copper. Hey, that's me. Ha <laughs> ha.